Oh, fuck. Well, last time, I accidentally set the quality too low, so it looks like ass, like raisin cookies going through a blender. So, this time, I try. I set it a little... Th uh, shut up! <laughs> I set it a little higher at, like, uh, 720 standard, 720p standard, so hopefully it'll be a little better this time. Yeah, we go live every day at 544, um... Eastern. Yeah, yeah, 5.45 Eastern time, yeah, that's when we go live. So, uh, definitely, totally, what? it's gonna, oh my god, shut up! No! Jesus Christ, dumb idiot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's domination. Damn it, why didn't you do party modes? Because we have to get ready for ranked. Oh, we're playing ranked this stream? Yeah, that'll make me want to yeah. kill myself. Uh... So, today at school, uh, <clears throat> there's this one kid, his name was you Joseph, You let people right? join? Jesus. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, you have to let people time to join. No, because this will just be on the video, too. This will post as a video, so it's alright. Um, this kid named, uh, yeah, Joe, 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 Joe. Uh, uh, anyways, real weird, like, kid. He's pretty weird, low-key, like... I mean, I've never really Lost talked to him, but from what I've heard him talk and just the way he straight up acts and walks around, real weird. Um, but, uh, so this kid was, I don't know what happened, but he was talking shit about some kid's, uh, sister, right? Probably because his older sister and their sister had beef, but I don't know. What? Lost. Jesus Christ. Anyways, this they were talking shit about each other, right? So the kid, the girl's little sister got pissed and was about to fight him. And um so but she didn't for some reason. I don't know what happened. Uh So this kid uh that was friends with her was about to like, about to fight him today at uh, lunch, but instead of just fighting him, uh, he just like made a big scene over it. He like walked up to him and uh, pushed him and was like starting shit. And then the older sister's boyfriend got like super pissed and was about to jump in. So all these dudes that were friends with the kid came over, were about to jump in, and the kid that was really weird, the rude kid, just ran away crying. Like straight up, just like I think he like actually left the school because people went chasing after him and no one found him. So that's unfortunate. Uh, what was his name? Uh, I don't know, like Jojo, Joseph. I don't want to say his real name, but I already did, so that's Joseph. I was gonna What's say his last name. What's his mom's social security number? <laughs> I don't know. I said Jojo to try and cover up his name, but it isn't Jojo, which is unfortunate. But he's like real weird, low key. I just thought it was funny because like I was sitting there eating my motherfucking hash browns, waiting for this shit to hash happen. For lunch. Yeah, it's good as hell. It's like the McDonald's hash browns. We get like beat to a pulp if we even try food. Like, our school's awful. <laughs> what? Remember, I went to go. I went to go like piss because I had to piss so bad, and uh -huh. the, every toilet in the bathroom was clogged from just shit. <laughs> from straight up shit. Damn. I don't so know how you clog a school toilet because they're like. Industrial size. Yeah, they're like airplane toilets so just rip your colon out. If you sit on them and flush. I don't know how you managed to clog it, but I was uh, like, man. Homie had a shit, huh? <laughs> Some people be like straight up like shitting shitting in those school toilets, bro. Seriously. Like, they be destroying them toilets. Bro. They in there like entire life just to take a shit. Yeah. <clears throat> I think there's one thing. Um, that I just really find unfunny. It's the, um, TikTok's been going around like, ARE YOU POOPING?! Oh yeah, and they like, like fucking like, steal their shoes. Yeah, that's like, the, just the most unfunniest shit on the face of the planet. Yeah, it's really annoying, honestly. Like, not the man poop, bruh. Yeah, I don't think many of them are real, but... It's whatever. Um, 
What else? What do you have down for your notes? Oh, I don't have anything down. I forgot about that. You got anything? Um, no, I don't actually. I thought you said you had some stuff like before we started. I lied. I thought you had notes. No, you said something about um weird sex occasions or something. Oh yeah, like like what's the weirdest thing you've ever beat your meat to? Oh, ever beat like my ass. meat to? Yeah. Oh, mm. It'd probably be like some bondage type shit, like um a dude getting pegged or something. I think I beat my meat. What's to like that. the most down bad you've ever beat your meat to? What do you mean? Like the like the like you were so down bad you beat your meat to it. Oh. Uh, uh, I don't know. Hey, lost. Uh, what do you mean you don't know, bro? I'm thinking, bro. I just don't know. I think I know. But I'm thinking if there's something worse. It would probably either have to be something on Twitter or this one girl at my school. She was a senior, but I followed her on Instagram and she posted an ass pic and it was hot. Bro, fuck wrong with you. <laughs> you are down bad, <laughs> on me. I mean, oh I didn't like God. actually beat off to it, but it made me like hard. It was hot. Man, what the? Fuck? That was on my old Instagram account, though. I deleted that shit. It took me like half an hour to delete it, but I finally did. I know, cause they make you go through like a whole like verification. You have to go on the website. It's yeah, I don't understand ordeal. why. Like, it's just so let me annoying. remove the account, please. Yeah, I don't know why they don't just let you, like, go in and just delete it. I know one of my meme accounts that I used to have got hacked. That's why I made Ass Slicker. Because my other one got hacked. Remember, I had, um, my very first... Because, you know, my, my account right now is Year for Memes 2.0. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, the original one was just Year for Memes. And what happened to it was, is I had Pornhub as, like, my link you can go to. Mm -hmm. And I guess someone got mad about it, and I don't know where I'm going to go, you know, check Instagram, and my account just wasn't existent. Hmm. So, so they had they make deleted you go my through account the, yeah, because of it. They delete your account like that, but when you want to delete your account personally, they just make you go through this whole fucking, like, borders immigration process. Yeah, like, I have to get my green card shit. It's so annoying. Fucking buy a visa and shit. <clears throat> It's really annoying. Like, I have to take the entire test to become a U.S. citizen. Yeah. Who is the first president? Who's the president now? I don't know what the test is because I was born a U.S. citizen. I thought you were Canadian. No. Why well, after you were born Canadian? in Ohio. Yeah. Ugh. Just close. Disgusting. Just close to Canada. Canada. Michigan. What's your Twitter like, account? Uh, my Twitter account, I have multiple because yeah. I have to like log into one every time I get on. I have to like make a new one every time I fucking get on Twitter because I forget my shit. Yeah, I was about to expose you and everyone you follow. Cause I'm sure you follow nothing but porn on Twitter. I don't know. I don't mm. quite remember. No, I, I follow a lot of shit ton of news things to cover up for that. Like news networks. Yeah, that's gonna cover up. <laughs> Oh damn! Both my kills taken. Have you ever uh, jerked off to trans porn? Uh, no, I can't say I have actually. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I've seen it a I couple times say... on recommended, but I never watched it, so I was asking how it was like. I mean, I've seen it like. Because like it like pops up on, like, barely Reddit. like one in a million. Like it's a one in a million chance it pops up, but. Yeah, I've seen it on Reddit and everything, but I don't, I haven't, like, watched it personally. I don't know. I don't know about it, man. It's kind of odd. Because, like, some of these trap girls be having cute-ass faces, but you can't, and you can't even tell they're a guy, but if they, like, look like a guy, then that's just instantly a turn-off. I feel like people sleep on, like, gay men. Gay men? Hear me out. That, that came out <laughs> bad, but, like, I Hold think on. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean? Like, what, what it is is... <clears throat> I don't know why people hate gay people. Like, like if you're gay, good for you. I, I simply just don't care. I'm gonna be real. I, I don't care. 
Yeah. I get but that. if you're like, but if you're just like ultra mega gay, like your only then... part of your personality is gay. Yeah, like I have, I have a ton of like pe friends that are like lesbian and gay, and I have no problem with them. I hang out with them all the time. Mm -hmm. But if you're like, I'm so gay, I just love men all the time. Like that's that's just not. I don't feel comfortable around that. Like, yeah, it's, just... it's weird. <laughs> I'm pretty sure West Virginia is one of the only states in America that hasn't legalized gay marriage. I don't Damn. know if they have or not, but I just feel like they haven't. I know there's a couple. Like I don't think it's legalized in a lot of southern states, but definitely not in southern states. Like, um, pretty sure abortion is illegal in a couple states, too. Yeah, I think it's still illegal in a lot of states. Like, weed. <clears throat> yeah. I know, uh, um, New York legalized weed not too long ago, I believe. Um, I'm, like, I'm pretty sure Amazon stopped, uh, using weed on the drug test. Like, they oh, stopped, really? um, yeah, they stopped, like, uh, counting you out. Like, getting mad at you if you had weed on your drug test because it's, like, not illegal. Yeah, California. I don't understand why, like, I mean, I guess I could see, like, fucking meth or crack cocaine. But yeah, yeah. Other than that, it doesn't, it really shouldn't matter what people do in their spare time for to an employer. Unless, like yeah, I, I said, why, it's, like, like fucking hardcore heroin. And yeah. you, you got, like, black tar heroin. I see that, like, 100%. You definitely shouldn't have a job. I'm working at, like, a sophisticated job, like, the Amazon, like, main center. Where, like, yeah, you shit need to go to from. rehab first, man. Yeah, but... Have you seen those videos like, of... Like, um, people exposing where crackheads be cleaning their needles and shit, like, in public toilet paper. Like, that shit's scary, bro. I don't want to be wiping my ass and get some fucking needle blood in my ass, bro. I'd, I'd give me herpes, HIV, wiping your ass AIDS. And get needle blood in your ass. Yeah. Remember, um, last year for health, we had to do a, um, thing about heroin and everything. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it was, it was kind of funny, because we were talking, there was about this one, like, old actor... And she was like just horribly addicted to like fentanyl lollipops. Jesus, what are fentanyl lollipops? Literally just they're lollipops like lollipops with fentanyl are just fentanyl. Yeah, Jesus. she was like horribly addicted to them. And who gave like, her that fucking fentanyl would, lollipop? She would like go crazy if she didn't have any. Like she would like start saying like the flowers are talking to her and like they're giving her cancer and everything. Damn. And I remember I have this one friend. That I fentanyl giving like, you I, cancer, girl. Yeah, I was gonna say I feel like I feel like the fentanyl is telling you faster than <laughs> cancer would in a million years. Seriously. Unless you had like stage four cancer from the very beginning, then that that might be a different story. But other than that, yeah, I, I think the hardcore horse tranquilizers would uh, end your life a little bit faster than the fucking uh, cancer flowers. Yeah, <laughs> she said like TV static hurt her ears. I guess I like, can get the, that. that. Like should the be TV, scary no, like the TV true. will give off static and it will like hurt her brain uh. and everything. And I'm just like, I don't I have no clue what you're talking about. You're speaking like Korean to me. She was Asian too. She's like a used to be like a really well known um actress. Oh, huh. And it's just Crazy. about That's how sad like how like shit how, like that can just fuck up your life. Her her parents like so disappointed of her because you know she has Asian parents so yeah you know they always like thought high of her and then out of nowhere her her you know ex movie actress daughters addicted to fentanyl really bad. They didn't get I her any help. No, it did. It was in a one of those. On like TMC or not TMC, but on like a Lifeline, where it's like um, rehab. Like they talk to the person about it, and they're like, "Hey, you're doing fentanyl. That's not good." And they're like, "We're gonna take you to rehab." And they're like, "I don't want to go to rehab." And they're like, "I don't care. You're going to rehab." <clears throat> so they did and take like, her to rehab. And then there's multiple ones where like they just straight up like left rehab, like in the middle of the night, like just got up and left. Huh. I don't know how you, like, you're, like, allowed to hold, like, a grown-ass adult in rehab. <clears throat> uh, like, they'd be, like, 40, and they're just like, you can't leave! I'd, I like, mean, I'm, I'd, like, if I really wanted to leave, I was, like, that down bad for heroin, I'd be like, I'm 40, you're 20, what are you talking about? I should I own you. I guess if you had, like, permission from a family member or something like that to keep them, then I think that should be, like, legal, because, like, yeah. you're on black tar heroin. No one needs to be doing that shit. Like seriously, like if they're doing shit like hardcore, like meth, I feel like shrooms isn't that bad either. Uh, like, personally, acid, acid like PCP, like really any oh, other other psychedelic besides yeah. shrooms, yeah, PCP is like is really bad for your holy entire shit, brain. Yeah. Holy but, like, fuck, yeah, like, no, that'll shrooms, kill you shit. Shrooms, like, like there's like really been no like 
like official thing about shrooms. Like it's killing you. Yeah. Like, it's not that I've, I've never I've never heard of somebody overdosing on shrooms. You know. I did see a video a long time ago on TikTok of this guy who took shrooms a shit ton during his teenage years, and it just killed his brain cells. Like he's a retard now oh, because that's it killed because it's cells. that's because it's um he psychedelic. A, yeah. But I mean um. Or like uh. I feel like acid would be alright as long as you didn't take like six tabs a day before you went into school, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. If you depends on how like how many tabs and everything like that you yeah. take. Yeah. Like I guess like a tab like every whoa, what just happened? First of all my Like a tab a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah well not even a day. I wouldn't do it as, like a tab every two months, like if you go out to a fucking rave or something, like maybe. Well that's more like for Molly though. Maybe too. not during a rave. Yeah, Molly's more for a rave. Yeah, holy shit. Want I wanna yeah, no, do don't rave. take it. Do not don't... take acid and go to a rave. Please do not do that, please. Very you smart no, idea. dude, you'd actually you would pass away. Like not just... from the acid, just from the stress, <laughs> dude. Everyone around you'd be fucking melting while also like dancing, dude. No. Yeah. That wouldn't be no, good. That... that would not be like, good. The, like the little like hippie bears would come out of nowhere and just start like melting and like dying. Dying in front of your face. Yeah, don't don't take very it. nice secure area. Yeah, no oh, where you way can, like, cut your own arm off. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. You know, maybe acid just isn't a good idea in general. Don't do acid. Like maybe, maybe acid isn't even good in moderation. It's a natural quick. Because like shrooms, I, I feel like taking shrooms like every month, like once or twice a month. Because like sh like the way I see it, shrooms like help open the mind in a way. They help like. Just make you feel better. I know there's a, a guy on TikTok that dresses up as a mushroom and tells you how to get high off shrooms. Uh, you know that one guy like dresses like he paints his entire body? I think so. And he like creeps me out. I know bit. there's one guy on TikTok. He might have gotten banned permanently or something. I sent it to you a long time ago, but he was um some sort of guidance counselor for drug addi addicts. And like uh, he did this thing where like if you seriously do not want to get off fentanyl or heroin or whatever and you cannot go to rehab or whatever then he taught you how to at least do it the safe way so you didn't die yeah from... you set like an orange peel out with like toothpaste on it and you can get high as hell off of it yeah but like he like he like had this thing where you can come and get clean needles and like how to like change your cottons and stuff like that like it was kind of crazy but i guess like also very interesting how yeah like it helps people like not be Total fucking idiots when we do it. Yeah, because like you shoot up with an old needle, you're dead, man. I mean, maybe not, but I definitely want to be safe. I know pe some people like they get like needles off because there's um. I know some places have like disposable needles, like places where like it disposes needles. And you get yeah. for, like a couple of dollars and it gives you like a handful of needles. People go out and like sell them for like a dollar a needle. Damn, that's kind of expensive. Yeah, but you have to remember. Better than like dying from AIDS. Yeah. Or just an overdose in general. Well, that needle would help you overdose, but okay. I mean, I guess, but. Yeah. I don't know if it's like clean and you can see the numbers clearly. Maybe you won't fucking die, but I don't know. Heroin just isn't a good thing to do at all. I know I saw this. I saw this one Reddit thing. It was like the most. Uh, your most regrets or your horrible confessions that you've never confessed or whatever or confessed or whatever and this guy um he was like older he was like 18 and he had a 15 year old sister and she, uh, he introduced her to weed and um because like you know weed's not that bad and like to take some stress off from school and stuff that's how he explained yeah. it and uh but she ended up getting on hardcore heroin at fifth at 16 and oh, yes, dying of an overdose <laughs> Like, somehow, yeah. somehow weed introduced her to heroin. Like, well, because, like, what happens is, like, once you try, like, a minor thing like that, like, most people, like, want to go bigger and better. Yeah. Most people would be like, well, I tried weed, so what's the harm of, you know, popping some perkies? Harm of popping perkies is they're Percocets. <laughs> like, <laughs> they'll, they'll I, fuck you up faster than, like, anything else on the face of the planet. Aren't Percocets, like, opioids? Yeah, they're opioids. Yeah. So they're painkillers. Yeah, so it's basically heroin in a pill. Yeah, but like not as strong. Like they're not like diluted heroin in a pill. Like that's how um because that's what uh, that's what happened to my uh my dad. He uh 
he got he hurt his shoulder or something at work and he got prescribed opioids because back then people were just prescribing opioids left and right. Oh, knee pain, opioids. Oh, foot pain, opioids. Oh, you stubbed your toe? He's a fucking bottle of opioids. And oh, you you have a cough? Here's a bottle of heroin. There you go. Yeah. They used to so, back in the. <coughs> and like that was before they like really regulated it and diluted them and shit. So. My dad got addicted to him, and then he create he kept making up excuses to get more from different doctors. He was a uh, doctor hopping or whatever. They have regulations yeah. on that now. Like, you can't do that anymore. But um, well, obviously, cause that's like really not a good thing to do. Yeah, all, but ever. uh, so like when he couldn't get him anymore, when they just stopped working, because eventually they'll stop working. Your body will build up a tolerance. He just yeah. moved on to heroin. Secure. Fucked his life up. I mean, he's clean now, but like, fucked everything up for a good couple years, man. It was horrible. And it's hard to get off that kind of stuff, too. Yeah, like, it's, it took it's him a while. Hard. It took him a while. Because, like, what happens is once you do it, like, you get sick. After. Yeah, you, after you don't do it. You yeah, get, like, because, like, yeah. Definitely ill. Yeah, because my. I remember my dad would lay on the couch, like, not eat, drink, get up for days, man. I, like, I thought he died a couple times, bro. Yeah, it, t it takes, like, a week. Like, a week and a half to, like, how hard the drug is. It takes, like, a little bit. Yeah. We're getting slammed by these guys, low-key, but, I mean... And, like, one of the withdrawal symptoms, like, I learned from fucking Family Guy. I thought it was hilarious of that happening to my dad, but I don't, I don't know if it did or not. But, like... Uh, or, no, it wasn't Family Guy. It was that, um, Paradise PD. Um... The fat, oh, guy, the fat guy, he put cocaine or something in the chicken, and then, like, the Matt, the chief got addicted to it, and so when he was put in rehab, he was, like, thrown up and diarrhea shitting at the same time on the bed, <laughs> all grown and shit, and there's a shit ton of other people there, too, because he got, like, everyone addicted to his chicken because he, he put cocaine in the flour, or cocaine or heroin or something, I don't remember, I haven't watched it in a long time. They're gonna make season three soon, I think, for that. Or at least said something about it. It's that tends on one of the best shows on Netflix, yeah. I like uh, BoJack Horseman. That's a really good one. I haven't seen it. <clears throat> it's I really was, good. Uh, I was about to go rewatch like, um, uh, Love Shinobi and Other Delusions because I'm like, I love that anime so much. Oh yeah, so that good. was that was a good one. That was a good one. I watched that. Did I really have to like take a leak or now? But I don't know. Uh, see, like now our conversations have stopped. Do you have anything else? Losing C. We didn't even like C. go on about the Lost. sex stories. We said like, what's the weirdest thing you jerked off to and quit? I mean, I didn't really have. I don't have. I don't really have that many sex stories. I haven't had that many girlfriends. Because you're honest, cringe. Because you know, like, I'm 15 years old, maybe. Like jerk off stories, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Like I dated this one girl for like a year and 10 months, but we didn't really do much. Cause, do much because we were only like. 12 and 13. Like, we started dating in the 5th grade. Oh, dude, uh, I'm actually getting raped. Man, my guy has a fat nut. I mean, we made out. Like, we actually, like, legitimately, like, made out for a while, but that's about it, really. Grinch. I feel like sometimes, like, people, like, try to take shit like that way too fast. Yeah. I didn't kiss her till the 6th grade. Like, y'all, like, they, like, first start dating and they're trying to, like, just make gay love with them. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. But, like, uh... <clears throat> uh... It was me and her's first kiss, and, um... Basically what happened is we were sitting in the movie theater, and I leaned over to her brother to get some snacks, because that motherfucker had, like, Mike and Ike's or something, and he was good as hell. And then I Mike just kissed her, because she was hell. right there. Yeah. Mike and Ike's and good as hell. <laughs> they had to, yeah. <laughs> no, he had some Mike and Ike's, and they were good as hell. Oh, uh, leave. Okay. Mike and Ike's and good as hell. My favorite <laughs> snacks ever. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. But, uh, yeah, that's... What happened? Who's your... She yours? haven't done drugs, like, at all, ever. Uh, no, no, I mean, let's, like, Tylenol. I have I a know. couple really good drug stories. I mean, I hit a dab pen a couple times, and, like, I drank a little bit, and... Oh my I god, there was these, um, a little bit, so, I have a friend who has a cart, 
And it was funny as hell because these kids, like, I don't think they even knew what a cart was. But <laughs> my friend let him hit it. And supposedly, them and my friend is like really, like, are their friends supposedly? I don't like the kid because he's so annoying. Uh -huh. I'm gonna call the annoying kid, um, Michael. Right? Okay. And so, Michael would just like, I remember one time in class, I was sitting there, Michael just kept shitting himself over. And over <laughs> like and over again. Like or actually shitting. <laughs> like I think it was a little bit of both, cause like it was awful. <laughs> and like at the time, I was just trying to sit there and watch Fire Force. So uh -huh. I was like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> it's like he is. Uh, he like shits himself every time they put like fucking fire out. Yeah, every time like they he would see fire on my laptop, he would just shit himself. It was so annoying. <laughs> it that was that because he hit the cart or? Mm mm. Oh, he was just shitting himself. Yeah. Oh. Were you going anywhere else with that story, or was that just it? No, that was it. Michael. Oh. And there's this fat kid Michael's friends with. We're gonna call him. Miranda. Gunna. We're gonna call him Gunna. <laughs> Gunna. <Just> fuck Gunna. <laughs> and, and so Gunna was in there with him and. There was this other kid, I guess he thinks he's cool, because, like, I was in the bathroom, I was, like, kind of, like, on the wall by the urinals, and he goes, move, bruh, I looked at him, I was, like, just walk <laughs> around me, damn, <laughs> and he goes, you don't know who I am, I was, like, you're right, I don't, he's, like, 4 foot 11, and weighs, like, 80 pounds, Jeez. I'm, like, I'm, like, 6 foot away, like, 200, so I would, like, literally, I could eat him for lunch, I could dead ass <laughs> eat him for lunch, <laughs> and, He's, he's, like, he just, he's a freshman, too, which is, like, the most annoying thing ever. Jesus. Like, I normally don't mind freshmen, but when they think they're, like, the shit... Yeah, that's normally, like, the not... two most annoying people in the world, freshmen and seventh graders. Yeah, and, like, so there was just one, like, twelfth grader, and he was, like, kind of, like, talking shit to twelfth grader, and we're gonna call, like, the little annoying one, Jackson. Wait, there already is a ja no, there's Michael. And so Jackson was talking to this 12th grader, and the 12th grader goes, I run this school, bitch, who the fuck you think you're talking to? <laughs> and he goes, you, you, you don't run the school, he's like, you want a fucking bet? And everyone in the bathroom was like, yeah, he's kind of well known around here. And he was like, I call bullshit, he ain't nothing. And like, I thought there was going to be a fight. So I was like, oh hell yeah, let's go. And he kind of just like, pushed me, he pushed me. And everybody in the fucking bathroom, he pushed me and was like, move on my way. I was like, who is this little ass kid? <laughs> you should have like whacked him over the head. And so my friend let him hit the car and the Jackson and Gunna just died. Like just fucking died. <laughs> it was the funniest shit ever. Like you let him hit it and they just like instantly like started coughing and like just dying of like straight lung cancer. Dude, they're all camping in there. And, um, remember, he passed it to me, and I've been trying to stay clean. I've been trying to stay clean, because I'm a good kid. So I was stay like, nah, I'm good. Parts? Yeah, I just, okay. anything in general. And I go, nah, thank you, though. And he goes, alright, so yourself. And he hits it, and like I said, he just instantly started dying. And, like, it was funny to me, because, like, he just, I don't know if he thought it was, like, a normal vape. And he could hit it really hard. Like, chief it. And not have consequences, but no, that's that's not how they work. You can't just chief a cart and not have consequences, unless you're like, let's smoke. Aren't for the carts past like the years. disposable ones? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Dead pens are the ones you can actually uh, see like the fluid inside. And um, like like it was funny because just watching them both die over it was the funniest thing ever because like. I don't know why. I don't know why they thought they could just chief it. Because carts are like, they're like thicker. Yeah. They're harder. It's like, whenever you take like a, one of the rechargeable hides mm -hmm. and like and put, you it put it to it the max. The, yeah. Fan, like, like the lower s fan setting. Yeah. You have to like suck it's, the internals out. Yeah. It's like, it's kind of like one of those in a way. And I don't know if he thought it was normal, but it he just chiefed it and he died. And we started, I, I, I um... I looked over at my friend leaving and I just started I just started to smile and was like, trying my best not to just bust out crying laughing. <laughs> I uh, I threw my hide into the river, honestly. Why? I don't know. I like I just didn't want it anymore. 
I didn't really like the banana flavor. It like uh made me fucking lightheaded every time I hit it, which I probably hit it wrong, but that's whatever. No, that's, no that's it's probably because of the flavor. No, that's what a buzz is. When you get a buzz off nicotine, you get like lightheaded. Oh yeah, I know that, but shouldn't well, happen. Apparently not, because you just but yes. Unless you like Anyways, been smoking for the past twelve years. I didn't <laughs> I didn't want the banana one anymore and it was about you to just shift it to me. It was about to run out, so I just threw it away. I threw it right in that fucking river. I remember tossing my d addiction um, to a river, but I might like buy one of the cheaper blue ice ones or whatever. I was um, like that motherfucker was big as hell. I did not want that big ass brick in my pocket 24/7. <laughs> I remember my like my first. I've only done acid like twice in my entire life, and my first time ever doing it, I did it by myself. Rule number one. I didn't know this at the time. Rule number one is always do with someone who's sober. <laughs> well, guess who didn't do with someone who was sober? This guy. I did. <clears throat> so I thought it'd be a great idea, to just, just you know take like two tabs. Two and tabs yes. for your first time. Yes. Jesus. Yeah. Two tabs for my first time. And I was sitting there just vibing, like not really feeling anything. I was like, "Did I? Do I need to take another one?" And then out of nowhere, I just started like the light, the light bulb. Because whenever you first start <laughs> off on acid, it doesn't instantly. You just don't instantly start seeing dragons because they last for like twelve hours. <laughs> I did like they start off like shapes turning into different. Like a circle can like turn to a triangle and everything. So the light bulb like started to like move around and change like shapes and everything. I was like, bro, what the fuck? I was like, man, these edibles really are hitting though. And I was sitting there chilling, and and after like a couple hours, I started like losing my shit. Yeah, no shit. Like, sure. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. This is what this is how I die. Um, <laughs> I gotta go ahead and write a suicide note. This is gonna be awful. Oh no. Can't even write because you're tripping on acid. And <clears throat> and I was exit match real quick. I I'll, had, I'll uh, let you I keep had, it on your story, but exit match. So I had uh, called my friend, and I go, "Hey, listen, I don't know what's going on, but I'm like dying right now." <laughs> and they go, "What are you talking about?" I was like, "My my entire body, I like I I'm dying. I'm fucking dying." <laughs> and she goes, what's wrong? I was like, I just took two tabs of acid like three hours ago, and I'm seeing little Martian men run around my fucking house. <laughs> and she goes, what? As she was like, that's a real thing? I was like, yes, it's a real thing. It's scary. Please help. <clears throat> and um, she's like, so you tell me you actually see like stuff. I was like, yes. Yes, you do actually see stuff. Please come up. And she was like, what's like exactly happening? I was like, listen, hear me out. I'm seeing like shit run around right now. Like, kind of like gnomes. Like, you know the uh, shitty Gromi Romeo and Juliet? Like, the yeah. Gnomeo and Juliet? That's why I was seeing shit like that. And it was awful. Because, like, I, I didn't exactly know what was happening. And I was just sitting there, like, just tripping the fattest nuts, like, on the face of the fucking planet. <laughs> and I remember my second time, or, like, my second time experience with it, my friend was doing it. And we were on a FaceTime call. And... She was in there chilling, and then out of nowhere, she looked over at her dresser and started cussing it out. <laughs> I was like, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? She goes, this dresser just called me the N-word. Oh, damn. And I was like, what? She was like, yes. And she started, like, beating it. <laughs> like she was going to win. <laughs> damn. It was funny as hell. That, shit, that shit's crazy, man. I feel like hitting a tab of acid and blasting trip at night would be amazing but I don't know I'm gonna go to a rave and try acid <laughs> no it's done because we caught the first time was horrible dude why would I even think of that holy shit I don't I was thinking of Molly what the fuck all right I'm gonna go pee because I'm dying okay So how's every Wednesday going? It's like the zero viewers at this current moment in time. You guys having fun? Glad to hear, glad to hear. <clears throat> so, um, how's your, how's your guys' day been? Like, 
Is it going good? Really, it has. Um, anything cool happened at school? No? Man, that sucks. Mmm, really? And a fight. Huh. Did you win? You did? Good job, good job. I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of you guys. Really? Really? Huh. That's kind of cool. Hmm. You don't say, huh? You guys like Balloon's Tower Defense? Of the uh, <clears throat> tower defense game. Oh, well, that's where that go. So, you guys do? That's crazy. Um. I don't know why it takes so long for one man. To uh, pee, but I get I guess it um I guess it I get I guess it just does. Yeah, yeah, I know, that's, that's funny. Alright, my bad, I'm back. Uh, I got air, so, or I got air, I got food, so. Uh, someone commented on the stream. Oh, Christian and Clag, I love men. But yeah, I got, uh, food, so. I'll try and meet my mic when I eat, but, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it matters. Oh, this McChicken just doesn't have lettuce on it, that's unfortunate. Uh, do you like lettuce in your McChickens? Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> You don't eat like the the new chicken sandwiches. I do, from but McDonald's? I used to eat them all the time, and it just fucking <clears throat> tore up my insides. It just started mm, giving me horrible diarrhea. I love the uh, the new chicken sandwiches. They're, they're good. I haven't. I just don't really like McDonald's in general. Yeah, know? me neither. I'm really it's I? just not. It's not like Burger King is better. Burger King is mid. I hate to say mm -mm. it. Burger King really no. isn't that good. Burger King is better than McDonald's, but Subway is the best out of all of them. Ooh, I don't. I think there's an Exxon down the road from where I live, and that's hands down like has some of the best food ever. I could eat it like five days a week. There's what? An Exxon down the road from oh. me, and they have like this like this um, I guess deli, mm -hmm. what you would call it in it, and it um, it's just busting. Like I could <laughs> eat their chicken because they have like a like a five piece chicken meal. It's like ten bucks, huh. and it's worth ten bucks, one hundred percent. I uh, there's a Raising Cane's opening by me that I um want to try when it opens. It opens like sometime sometime in October. I've always wanted to try Popeyes. I heard it isn't good, but yet oh, I've I had Popeyes. Really the chicken good. sandwich is all right. Yeah, I personally think the KFC chicken sandwich is better than Popeyes, but Popeyes is all right. I remember whenever uh, KFC first came out with chicken sandwiches, like the little tiny ones, mm -hmm. and, like a whole strip of chicken yeah. on a fucking bun. I, I used to be able to eat like three of those at uh, like one time because they were just so small. Uh-uh. You know, you gotta try Burger King's chicken sandwich. It's really good. I heard it was good, but I'm like, I, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of fast food. Like, coming from a fat guy, I'm just not a huge fan of fast yeah. food. I don't like any fast food too often either. I mean, I like it every now and then, but 
every day it's kind of annoying. Yeah, yeah, like 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 a couple like twice a week, if that. Mhm. Mm but other than that, like it's really not that good. Yeah. Like um. What's that one place called? Taco Bell. I don't know why people like Taco Bell so much. I never. Yeah, I hate Taco Bell, dude. There's, I, don't know I can't why find anything like... good there. Like, I can't find anything that I like. Like, they I. They had to... like, I think I ordered the only good thing on their menu, the, um, potato. Oh, the thing? cheesy. Fi oh no, I thought I like the cheese of I like the cheesy fiesta potatoes, but um. It's just a couple yeah, of diced up like, potatoes and a little thing with sour cream and cheese. Yeah, no, they, really they had like they had like this um, uh, burrito that basically just had potatoes in it, like mm -hmm. potatoes and cheese, and it was like really good. But they got rid of it off the menu, and I I don't know why. Yeah, they got rid of a lot of their good stuff. Like Baja Blast is the only thing that really carries them. I know. Uh, but like um, I used to like this one burrito. I forget what it was called, but it has a uh, it was a taco, but. It's a tortilla, like a soft tortilla with rice, and then another tortilla, and then like the meat and cheese and stuff in it. It was really good. But they took that off the menu too. And the cheesy Fiesta potatoes are really good too, but they took those off the menu for a while too. Taco Bell is definitely like S tier now. After they get rid of like everything on their menu, it's definitely S tier. S tier is the you highest tried one. To... Or, I meant like, it's like a D, D tier. Yeah. Have you, have you ever had the McRib? Yes, yes I have. I think it's Dude, all that right. thing is so fucking good. I don't like it that much. I mean, it's all right. The they, McRib is, like, really good for no I reason. I know they put, like, way too much fucking sauce on it. That's uh, what I like. I like a lot of sauce. I don't like it. I like an, an unholy amount of, like, sauce on my, like, uh, sandwiches and everything. Mm -hmm. So that way, whenever, like, I go to eat it, I just, like, have a heart attack. <sighs> Cause he put too much like butter in my McRib. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, there's not that many other fast food tra uh, trains. Have you ever had the Mike's or Mike jerseys or subs or whatever? I think. No, I've never had that. Have you um? What's like your favorite chip? Chip like potato chip. Yeah. Uh, I would probably have to say Dorito, Doritos, spicy, uh, sweet, spicy chili, like the purple Dorito. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of spicy food. It's not that spicy, like it's, a, like it's sweet, spicy chili. It's like a little bit spicy, like, but I do Especially like after I ate the world's hottest, um, what you may call it once, the chip. uh, pepper. Oh. I had the world's hottest chip. I did that one chip challenge with my uncle. No, I ate the world's hottest pepper, like, with the pepper, like, seeds and everything in it. <laughs> right? And I was in the middle of our of our mall, of the mall. <laughs> and because my friend's stepdad dropped him off and was like, Here, Christian, I have a pepper for you. Take a bite. And it was a little tiny pepper, so I ate the whole fucking thing. And I threw the stem on the ground. He goes, Are you insane? And I go, What? What happened? He goes, You ate the whole pepper? And I was like, yeah, he goes, you are so retarded and drove off. And I looked at Anthony, I was like, Did I, am I about to die? Because I've seen stories on, like, Reddit and everything where people, like, throats closed because it was so bad. Mm -hmm. And he goes, I don't know, man, you should have ate the whole pepper. And I was like, why? Because I took a bite of one, and I died for, like, an hour. I was like, "Ah, oh, damn it. And I don't know if you know what a big loafer is, like the, like the restaurant. No. Okay, well, we had this place called, like, a Big Loafer, and it's it's basically kind of like, um, just really American food in general, okay. and it's really good. It's, they got, like, pepperoni rolls and everything. Oh, that's cool. And some lady at Big Loafer noticed that I was just dying, like, an insane death, and out in front of the fucking restaurant, because I was like, because this is, like, one of the pandemic first hit. Yeah. So I was sitting there over the trash can, throwing my guts up. Oh, yeah, Second. that happened to me during the uh, one-chip challenge. That was pretty bad. Like, an awful, like, just experience. And then the throw-up and... burns. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, like, somebody looked at me funny. I was like, I it's, I don't have 
a, a disease, I just ate the world's hottest pepper. She goes, why would you do that? I was like, shits and giggles, I guess. It's like I didn't mean to, but... And just went... Bleh. And like, after about an hour of sitting there just throwing my fucking guts up, um, I finally got myself back to like... Back to like, grip. And my stomach hurt so bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what happened was... <laughs> I'm pretty sure it ripped my intestines open. <laughs> because it hurts so bad. Yeah. And... I remember, like, about 30 minutes after, like, I was just sitting with my stomach hurting. I had to poop so bad. It probably burnt so bad. I know it did for me. It did. It, it was literally hot. Like, on fire. <laughs> yeah. It was the worst experience ever. And everyone was like, there's no way it's that bad. I was like, yes. Seriously, yes, that's what people is. say to me. It's horrible. <laughs> like, there's no way. It, it hurts, and it's, like, that spicy. Like, yes. It truly, on God, it, it really is that See, like, bad. The only difference between me and you is I'm going to do the next one chip challenge that just came out with my uncle. I'll just eat a whole other pepper. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Because, like, the seeds is what makes the pepper hot. Yeah. And I guess because well, I ate the entire pepper, like, seeds and all, almost ate the stem. <laughs> it was, like, it was, because that, like, because, like, the Carolina Reaper pepper has, like, two million Scoville units on it, right? Yeah, something like that. And, and it, it's obviously been known to be the world's hottest pepper, and I didn't even think about that. I just ate it. Yeah, there's hotter peppers out now. Well, they're all, like, genetically modified. Well, that, like the, Car the Carolina Reaper one was genetically modified. Pretty sure, like, yeah, everything but... after the habanero is genetically modified. Yeah, but it has a cool name, so. Pretty sure the hottest one now is Pepper X. That's kind of cool. But you say so myself. <laughs> I'm watching the stream on my phone. Word. Yeah, it, it was awful. I told um, I told his stepdad, I was like, listen, if you gave me like 20 bucks, I'd eat it again. He goes, 20 bucks? I was like, I swear to God. He goes, like, like you did last time? I was like, no, obviously at home. Like, in a, um, in a, like, area where I could just drink gallons of milk <laughs> at Dude, a time. Dude, milk didn't even help. Milk doesn't even help, I'm telling you. It's ice cream. You hold ice cream in your mouth on your... Remember, I, I drank so much water cream. whenever I ate the pepper. Uh, Lost the lead. water and, uh, shit like that, and milk doesn't even really help. It's ice cream and, Makes uh, it so much worse. Yeah. Water makes it so much worse. If you eat like a slice or two of bread before it, it's supposed you to help your died. stomach, but... Yeah, I heard bread helps, but like anything that's like dairy and grains can help, that's what I heard. Yeah. I don't know how true that is. I know dairy helps a little bit. Cause remember, I, I drank like a... I paid like... I didn't pay anything for it, but I remember she gave me like two, two or three cups free of just chocolate milk. Uh -huh, and I was yeah. like so happy. <laughs> and I chugged it so fast. Like, I've never drank chocolate milk faster in my entire life. That's probably might have what fucked up your stomach for a little bit, too. Just the fast intake of dairy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I used to, I used to know someone who had, like, awful, who had, like, um, what's it called, like, gonorrhea? Oh, what? Lactose intolerant. <laughs> gonorrhea, what? <laughs> they That's were, an STD. They were, lac they were lactose intolerant. And... I remember I made fun of was like, you can't drink milk. I was like, she's like, I can still drink milk. I was like, yeah, but you die. <laughs> like, you would literally shit yourself for the next three weeks. Uncontrollably. She goes, not real. I was like, yes, yes, you will. Watch, I'll feed you a gallon of milk and just watch how you would die. She goes, obviously a gallon would hurt. I was like, yeah. It's like, gallon of milk. It would kill anybody. <laughs> it's like, did you the... see that one Misfits video where they... Chug the gallon the of milk. Calling in the milk. I yeah. want to do that so bad. I think that'd be so fun. And all you're throwing up is just milk. I know. I want to. I want to do it so I bad. I should have collapsed. Be funny. Oh, that was kind of cool. Oh damn it! Like I want to do it because I think it'd just be like insanely funny for no reason. Yeah, I think it'd be funny. Because I told my dad, I was like, listen, I'll pay for the milk. If you just take me to the store to go buy food calling, like, two or three gallons of milk so I can do it with, like, somebody else. 
I would I would gladly. He goes, you would waste milk for that? I was like, it's not really wasting it. I'm drinking it. He goes, we're well, just gonna throw it all back up. I was like, yeah, that's kind of kind of the point. <laughs> I don't know who this kid is, but he's making me mad. Who? The guy just got shitted on by. Wow. We just got shitted on by, I believe. Um. Yeah. I need a portal in this game, man. <laughs> um. Poopy butthole sex. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Kind of stuck here now. Uh. Uh. Shit. There's like the other Misfits challenges that they do. Yeah, yeah. I like uh, I like whenever um they did a cinnamon challenge because that one guy, um, Matt, yeah. I think is his name, uh, he just like ate the entire thing of cinnamon. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then like instantly died. I did the cinnamon challenge one time, but it was like back in the fifth grade. That shit hurt. I haven't really done like any challenges at all, like that. You should just, do that. My dad thinks like that's just retarded. I mean, I don't it blame is him because it is retarded. That's the point. There was a challenge going around that was actually retarded for a little bit. It was called, I don't know what it was called, but you literally just lit yourself on fire with rubbing alcohol. Oh, uh, remember the type one? Oh yeah, that you was stupid. Like that was the dumbest shit ever. I don't know how people like were like, yo, let's do that. Like you have to be the dumbest motherfucker on the face to play with like eating a type pods, okay? Yeah. That shit's not even like eating a bar of soap. That's like fucking laundry detergent. No, it's not. Yeah, it is laundry. Uh, like, like eating soap really isn't that bad because you know if you cuss as a kid, you were forced to do it. Mm -hmm. I remember but, one time my mom made me do that. She put a bar of soap in my mouth and I just bit it in half. <laughs> I'm, uh, that I never really had to do that as a kid because I didn't cuss a lot. But now that I'm like older, my dad just doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. I mean, like, we, t well, I mean, like, he just doesn't care. He said, as long as I don't do it, like, around, like, my little sister and everything, or, like, my stepmom, he just doesn't care. <sighs> so, like, my mom, my dad doesn't care, but my mom, on the other hand, whip me for Your it. Your mom is, like, awful. Yeah. Oh well. He's like top ten worst people to ever be born. <laughs> like, right? She's like above Hitler. <laughs> like yeah. on like the YouTube video. Yeah. It's like number nine yeah. Hitler. Number <laughs> number ten Amanda Stobbs. <laughs> <laughs> Who lives at? <laughs> just, just tell your address out. So like our one viewer, which is me. Mm -mm. Whatever. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna make a post on Instagram about it, and we should just make an Instagram for the channel. Yeah, I really like. Like my dream, isn't to like become a content creator. But if I become one, I'm not gonna complain because they make fat bank, dude. Yeah. Like I heard, like Ninja pays like five thousand a month for his internet. Yeah. Everyone's like, how does he do that? I was like, you have to Because he makes like Twitch. a bill. He like makes like a hundred over, like a couple hundred grand a month. Like, I don't even like. I At think it was like five hundred like, grand a month. Yeah, I saw. It made like five hundred grand a month off Twitch Prime alone. Yeah, not, not to even, mention like, YouTube, Donos. Uh, yeah, yeah, YouTube, Donos, sponsorships, Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and league, in league or not league, but um, what's it called? That one AFK Arenas, mm -hmm. he's in that game now, so he's making money off that too. Yep. I think that's just that's just like insane to me. That dude's making he gets so paid much more, fucking he probably, money. probably like people on the internet like that, like artists and stuff, especially like people like Ninja, probably get paid more than like the best brain surgeon on the face of the planet. It's like, have you seen? <laughs> it's like, have you seen Bella Porsche? She blew up on TikTok for making M to the B videos. And like now she's extremely rich. She made one mu like one song with a music video, and now she's in every sort of other pop culture video to ever exist. Yeah, like I know it's it's and insane. she's extremely hot. She literally just like made fun of British people and got famous. Yeah, 
That's literally what she did, and I don't know how she did it. Like I make some fun people, of people. I, some people said like they, uh, Some people said she did that sell your souls the shit, but I don't even think that's real. I think that's retarded. Yeah. Like oh, she sold her soul. Like how? How do you be selling your soul? Yeah. Cause I'd sell my soul. I don't care. Yeah. Seriously. Like. Oh, she sold her soul. Okay. Okay. And. Tell me. Tell me how. I'll, I'll, I'll call up Stan right now and be like, hey, make me famous. You can have my entire life. Soul. Yeah. Yeah. It's like people said uh, Cardi and like Lil Uzi did and like Kanye because uh, like one of the punishments is humiliation and like Kanye had to take a picture in a dress and Cardi's a gay vampire and I don't know. I don't think so. I think Kanye's proud of who he is. I don't, I don't think he yeah. sold his soul because, you know, Christian gang, you correct. I want to talk about Buddha. You a Buddha pass? Like I don't, I don't think that's very Christian Jesus gang. You correct? I want to talk about Buddha. You a Buddha pass? Yeah, that was actually a really fucking hard line. I don't think he's a very um satanic man. I know there was this one line in um in uh awesome Captain movie. Crunch by a uh, trip uh, by Trippy Red Trip at Night. And I'm like, I forget who who it was like that featured and sang the line, but it was really good. He was like, call this uh, call this Swisher Sweet an uh, or a gang because my ops in it or something like that. It was really funny. Why does this dude I have like a bathrobe on? I like um, I like how in the uh, music video or not music, like the visual. Yeah, for, yeah, uh, yeah. YouTube for um, rich motherfucker or rich MF. Uh, yeah, with like the dragon and someone, shit. Yeah, someone posted like uh, there was no pianist so apology. Didn't know what to do. Mm-hmm. And I was sitting there like Polo G went so hard, dude. Yeah, Polo, Polo G, G went, pretty went good on off. That. Well, that was just a good album. Like it had a lot of good features in it. Oh yeah, it had like it had Juice X, Polo, Ski, Polo. Um, it had like a, just a ton of features, and it was just a good album in general. I don't know, yeah. like people was like mid at night, mid at night, like. The problem I, is, I like the beats to your... it too. It was really like different. Like not a lot of people do beats like that. Yeah, like you don't. The problem like it was all like, like video game themed in a way. I thought that was really interesting because like a lot of the visuals and stuff for it are like retro video game style. Yeah, people. The problem with people is they raise their expectations way too high. Yeah. For an album, and they get like bummed out when it isn't that good. Like you, you can't. That's not really something. You should do. Like, I guarantee Narcissus isn't going to be that good, but, I mean, it's going to be good because it's Daddy Cardi, but, like, <laughs> that's it. Really. Like, let's be what you completely die honest. Check the scoreboard. Oh, really? Yeah. I'd be doing that in Siege all the time, just spamming my scoreboard. Sometimes, like, I'll be in a firefight and think I die and just instantly spam my scoreboard, but I'll still be alive. <laughs> I've done that a couple times, and it's so annoying because then it makes me actually lose my gunfight even though I was completely alive. Send is just. I started, started goofy playing head since, um, really I started cool. playing like around um, a Void Edge where a yeah, big too. butt nose guy came out. Oryx? Like that's. Yeah, that's when I first started playing. Oryx Ayana came out. That's whenever I started playing. And, okay. And what happened was, is I have. I like. I think I might be the luckiest person on the face of the planet because I have like 13 black ices for the game, and it's like mm -hmm. a one in 16,000 chance or something like that. Yeah. And I've only been playing for like three or four seasons. And I know people have been playing since like Operation Black Ice and don't have any. Yeah. Like I and have that's when you could buy black ice, ice as a universal. Yeah. Like um, I have MP7 black ice. I love the MP. I have every black ice for buck. Yeah. You name it, I have it. Like. I have some of the best black eyes on the face of the planet, and I, I simply just don't play. That's really the only reason why I played for a long time, because I had black eyes. Yeah. I mean, if you ever sell your PlayStation, you can also sell your account to someone that plays Siege and give them all the black eyes. I mean, it'll be really hard to sell, because it has horrible stats, but... <laughs> it has oh, good, yeah. It has good I've, black eyes. I've never... The I've never, only time I ever hit gold was during placements. <laughs> like, that's the only time I ever hit gold, and I, I know I have, because I got the achievement for it. Yeah, had the achievement for hitting gold, so I had to have hit gold sometime. I know I didn't hit it after placement, so. 
Damn. Oh fuck, I'm like dying from this Arizona green tea. Uh one enemy remaining. Kinda just uh it's like politics nowadays, huh? Taliban. Yeah. That's just crazy. They have like sixteen like billion dollars worth of uh, military equipment. I don't think it'll last long though. Like they don't know how to fix it and keep it up and Hell, they might even know how to drive it. So, I mean, hey. I'm gonna beat you to death. Why is your, like, bat going crazy like it's about to bust a nut? I think it's, um, a bug. Because it's my right. visual. Oh, there, there he's only, up like, there. two people playing. Or working on this game, so. He's up I think they have top. a bigger developer team now, don't they? I don't think so. I thought they did. I like how everyone's calling it a dead game, even though it's like the most um, bought free game on the PlayStation Store like ever. Yeah. Besides maybe like Fortnite and Warzone, but... No, though. I think it has... No, maybe not more downloads, but it's like the number one free game out for PlayStation right now. It's like the only good out game out for PlayStation. Like, we need a new multiplayer shooter that isn't made by COD. Like, it can't be a COD shooter... But, it, like, it can't be, like, made by Activision or whatever, but it has to be, like, a COD shooter. Like, that's what we need. Like, an yeah. old COD back. Like, literally, I would have, like, instead of Cold War, I would have bought, literally, if they just copied and pasted Black Ops 1 into PS4, maybe made the graphics a little better, boom. They would have made so much fucking money. And I would have bought that. I would have bought that so fucking fast. Mm -hmm. I think another reason why uh, COD got ruined though was because of TikTok and all like the meta classes and shit. Like, I don't think anybody yeah. would have found out that the DMR was meta if people just if they just let them find out for themselves. Like, maybe eventually they would have found out, but not as fast. Like, if yeah. they just let people find it out for themselves, no one would have give a shit. Because like there have been metas in the past CODs, but they haven't had they weren't as big. They could be competed against. And they didn't spread like fucking wildfire. Yeah, like, like the big TikTok, like Tim the Tatman. Like if he didn't post about like this Garara class, is hands on the best thing on the face of the planet. Like I I'm thought that was real. Nick Merckx. I don't think it was both of them. It was probably everyone because they just wanted views. But yeah, this Growl class is the best, and now this DMR class is the best, and shit like that. Like. That was yeah, like, you can though. literally one tap someone's armor plate with this. Like, I, I, the time to kill, time to kill two is an awful problem. Uh, Warzone. yeah, yeah, maybe just in maybe. Warzone. And I feel like them putting the armor plates as like field upgrades and multiplayer was really Over. stupid too. But and like instead of like buffing other guns to compete with certain guns, they just nerf certain guns into the ground. Like they don't try to balance them at all. They just find out what's meta, leave it meta for a while, and then nerf it into the ground until something else becomes Split meta. Gate is one of the only games that I've seen that's genuinely like all the guns are pretty balanced. Yeah, I remember Black Ops uh, 2 used to be really balanced guns. Like every gun could go against each other no matter what. Except maybe like the shitty semi-auto sniper, but that's it. <laughs> Alright, hang on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go pee and get some of the drink. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go poop. We might just. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna go poop yet. Right. Cause I'd probably have to end the podcast or stream or whatever. I'm gonna exit match. Give a goofy all her shots. So, uh. Yeah, we're chilling. Vibe him like a villain. Send the link to someone, so maybe they'll actually tune in and watch. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see, boys. Four, three, uh, two, my YouTube is low. One. My shit's running slow as hell. Big head snipers. Lost the lead. Oh, I have six subscribers.
All right, you back, Christian? Oh no, he's coming back now. All right, you back? I just uh sent the link to one of my friends, so he asked for it. I think there's one thing I don't like. It's cancel culture. Yeah, that's really annoying. Like, I mean, I get if they did something wrong, like, in today, like, but canceling somebody for doing something wrong, like, six or seven years ago, it's really annoying. Like, they'll try to cancel Cleopatra Trump, or, oh my god, <laughs> Cleopatra, because she had slaves, like, yeah, she's been dead for over, like, a thousand years, there's no point. Seriously, like, someone, even specu a... someone even speculate her existence. Like... It's, it's crazy because they're like, oh my god, she had slaves. Like, okay, and? That was like a really popular thing back then. That was like the meta. Seriously. I don't I don't know what the big problem is. Like, It's like, and like, uh, canceling people for doing stupid shit, too. Like, something I think I, I just got canceled for doing leave. nothing. Yeah. Like, the, the black guy on TikTok who, like, wouldn't do anything at all. His videos uh -huh. were literally just him, like, making faces and he got canceled for it. Yeah, yeah, Donnie or whatever. Donnie or... Yeah, he was just making faces at people. Yeah. Yeah, like, if something was cringe, you would make a face at it. As yeah. you should. Because it's fucking cringe, and, man. Everyone else yeah. made a face at it. Just don't, didn't post a video about it. Ever post cringe. Like, I think people don't. Realize yeah, how, like, we don't. Cringe is just yeah, something you don't we need to make shit post. cringy again. Like, we've normalized cringe and, like, shit like that. And we need to make cringe cringe again. You know, that's my slogan for president. Make cringe. We're going to make cringe cringe again. Like, like Minecraft, like we need to make it Emmett. cringe again. Yeah. yeah, people like. I remember this clip of Tommy Emmett where he goes, "How do you have like 1,000 viewers? This is boring." He goes, "One of the viewers is your mom and like dabs and everything." Yeah, like, clip that would have been so much a funnier clip if he didn't dab yeah, and scream it, to clip it. It wouldn't even. Like, it wasn't even that funny in general. Like it would have just been a better clip. Yeah. But like. Uh, and like fucking like just cringy shit, man. Like Minecraft, it came back for a little bit because PewDiePie plays it. Now PewDiePie doesn't play it. Now it's cringy again. We gave all these shitty Minecraft YouTubers hype, and they do all this cringe fucking shit for little kids, and we just have to make it cringy again. And like shit, like uh, giving like five-year-olds iPads and shit, like that's stupid. Like I didn't like get my first phone until I was like ten. I didn't get my first phone until I was like 12 or 13, and that's only because my mom and dad got divorced. So we needed some sort of communication. Because my dad doesn't do shit. He doesn't answer his texts or anything, so. And still, it was a I've shitty government phone. That, that dads tend to, like, just not care. Yeah, my dad doesn't respond to anything. And, like, the one time he texted me asking about what I wanted from the store, and I just didn't respond to him. And then he yelled at me the next time I went over there because I didn't respond to him and I was like literally why don't you respond to my mom and then that was the end of the conversation he just didn't say anything else I wouldn't respond to your mom either I'm not gonna lie. I don't care it was just really annoying because like my mom like, always like, the only time your shit. dad like my yeah, dad does answer it's always with like this most simplest shit ever like you're mad like a 12 year old teen is mad <laughs> like K okay, okay sure I guess does he ever send a thumbs up emoji? Yes. He'll put <laughs> K with a thumbs up emoji. Remember, my grandma will like do something like very big for him, like go get his like help him get his truck legal. Or uh -huh. like buy him a dozer. She bought him like a seventeen thousand dollar dozer. They just recently stopped paying it off. Jesus. And she told him something like that, like, Hey, your dozer's like all done, you can get it now and he said thank you, like T Y with a thumbs up. Like <laughs> That's the most disrespectful thing I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Well, it's like disrespectful to our like teenage culture, but to adults it doesn't really matter because they're not really exposed to that kind of stuff. It would be disrespectful to something like us, but not to something like them. Like I remember where I got because Twisted Metal I have it on my PlayStation, and it's like a PlayStation. It's literally a PlayStation 2 game. Yeah. Yeah, I have Twisted Metal Black, and I told my dad, I was like, hey, I got Twisted Metal Black for the PlayStation 4. Uh, like, they didn't remaster it, it's the original game on PlayStation 4. He goes, what, that's cool, we have to play it when I get back home. 
<laughs> and then that was the end of the entire conversation. Like that's probably the most like the the most he's ever said to me in his entire life over text. <laughs> <clears throat> I used to play Halo 3 up at, late at night with my dad, but now we don't do shit like that because he works at nights and he has to constantly be caressing fucking Laura's ass 24-7. Which is the ass and which is the fat? I don't know. I don't even know. Like, I think she's on a diet and shit, but my dad just keeps her fat. Just because she's so addicted to fat people. That's a chick. Huh? Oh, well, no, he. Whatever. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Sent my friend the link, but I don't know if he'll join the live because he's gay. I need to poop low key, but I'm not going to. How long have we been streaming? I don't know. <clears throat> you should like... check. Oh, what's your favorite cereal? Ooh, probably Golden Grams. Mm, really? Straight up Golden Grams. Yeah. No way. Yeah, like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yeah, but Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Golden Grams are different. Yeah, but like they're like the same thing. Not really. They, they kind of are. Okay, mine would have to be Captain Crunch, Oops All Berries. Like, Oops All Berries. Like, these are my top five, like... Favorite, not in any order, but oh yeah, um, oops, all berries, it's Hands really down, the best thing ever, yeah. And uh, cocoa pebbles, not cocoa crispies, not the rice crispy shit. It's cocoa pebbles with the Flintstones in the front. The rice crispy yeah. shit's gross. The cocoa pebbles with the Flintstones is better. I've never had fruity pebbles, but I don't think it's good. Um, actually, no, I have had it once. It was horrible. Fruit Loops are okay, but they're not one of my favorites. They're mid. Apple, they're mid. Apple Jacks. Apple Jacks are really fucking good. Um, cinnamon Toast Crunch is alright. I like that sometimes. Uh, Cocoa Puffs. I hadn't in a while, but I used to love Cocoa Puffs. Oh, uh, uh, Trix. Trix is really good. I haven't had Trix in a long time, but the I last know. time I had it was pretty good. I don't think they exist. <laughs> I think they stopped doing the commercials and they went bankrupt or some shit. This guy just lagged so bad. I might be lagging on some people's screens. You know, oh. I like you on stream, so I don't care. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think that would, uh... I do every now and then, like, uh, the Cheerios multigrain ones, like, uh... Like they have a shit ton of different kinds of Cheerios. Honey Nut Cheerios. Honey Nut Cheerios always gave me like um, what you call it? Like a upset stomach. Like it always make like my. Um, yeah, I haven't had Honey Nut Cheerios in a hot minute, but like, they were all right. Have you ever had like a like um? Welcome to whoever's watching. A sour stomach. Yeah, I think so. Like that's. Well, like like it doesn't necessarily it just be the yeah. worst thing on the face of the planet. Yeah, I like hate it's, that. Yeah. I used to get that like once a month, and it was like oh. it was like a period. It was the worst thing ever. That's gross. I know, like I would like go to burp, and I'd be like, Urgh, and be, like, Urgh, burp. Yeah, that's gross. Remember, I was like, I didn't want to like go to the store and get Pepto Bismol, <laughs> so I'd always just puke my guts out to like stop it. <laughs> I remember one time my brother was throwing up everywhere. And uh, he drank Pepto Bismol to like try and stop it, and he just threw it up immediately. Like as soon as he drank it, had bleh, back out. A while back, I had the flu. Oh yeah. Or something like that. And uh, my grandma went to go give me graham crackers. Uh huh. Like the stuff you put on s'mores to like yeah, yeah, help yeah, it yeah. with it. Yeah. I ate it, and I just I look at her and I go. <laughs> she's <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes. Noted, do not eat graham crackers. I was like, yeah, really? Uh, graham crackers <sighs> mushed, uh, mushed up with, like, uh, or just saltines, mushed up with, a uh, tea and honey. It's supposed to help a lot. Uh, tea, I really like, um, like, it depends on the, if it's, like, warm tea, like, hot tea. Yeah, I do like hot tea so every now and then. that's be making uh, my throat sore by, like, sucking dick so I can drink hot tea. Yeah, I like, uh... I like I like any kind of tea, honestly. Sweet, unsweetened. I get unsweetened sometimes at restaurants. Uh, green tea. I like green tea. I uh, I don't like unsweetened tea. I'll drink like green tea and like like 
different kinds of like Chinese. Different yeah. kinds of tea. I like that, but like I will, I hate unsweetened tea with a passion. Remember one time we were at a um, I think it was Bob Evans, like Applebee's uh -huh. or something like that, and I asked for sweetened. Me and my friend Anthony both asked for sweet tea, and we got it back. And I took a drink, and like I have a couple looks, and like, you can just tell something's up when I do it. And yeah. I really, I did the, like the really, like I gave that look, and he goes, no, way. <laughs> I couldn't see your look, but. <laughs> Well, I gave him like like that look. That's like, come on, bro, seriously. Oh yeah. And he like he looked at me and he goes, "There's no way." And I was like, "Yes, there is." They gave you unsweet. Yes, and like, I don't I don't want to be like a dickhead and be like, "Hey, my tweet's unsweetened. Give me a new one right now. Or I'm gonna sue the store." <laughs> I didn't want to be that guy, so I just kind of grabbed like ten packets of um sugar and just dumped it in my tea. Dude, and then later fair lemonade, lemonade, like uh, fair lemonade, like the lemonade from the fair, that should be hitting. Oh my god, it's like so especially like... when you get like a glow, like a shit ton of sugar in the bottom and you just slurp it up through the straw. And crunch I really it. like how like they put in, like those big ass cups with a fat lemonade on top of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's just funny to me. And like they always have a fucking half. Oh, I just fell off the map. Oh, it's like a little hidey hole down here. That's cool. There's like a, and like they always have half a lemon in it and shit. Uh, yeah. Here, let's be a good place for um. I was trying to get to an infected place like for hours, but I just kept falling off. I almost got to it one time, but it's all right. It's unfortunate. Uh. All right. See you later. Maybe okay, bye. I'm gonna check something real quick. Uh. <laughs> fell back down. <laughs> wait, can you do the infinite? No, you can't do the infinite fall no. here. That's unfortunate. That's on, um, Panthea. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what was I gonna say? I, forgot, I was gonna say something, like, fucking amazing. Oh, yeah. One time when I was little, uh... I was real little, uh, so I vaguely remember this, but... I was, like, sick or something. I, or sick, I mean. I was, like, sick. And I had to throw up, but... I hurried up. I was trying to hurry up and get to the sink or whatever real quick. But I started throwing up, so like, I threw up, but as I was throwing up, I just was running, to, like, to the <laughs> trash can, but like, so there's just a trail of vomit following me, <laughs> ever, <laughs> as I went to the trash can, by the time I got to the trash can, I didn't have to throw up anymore, like, it was done. <laughs> I remember, Anthony had like a cup of lemonade, and he goes, man, that's good lemonade, so I take it, I inhaled it, I didn't drink it, I straight up inhaled it. And like I, th it might have like gone like my lungs a little bit, cause I like I had a like, cause I instantly went. <laughs> it was like dying, Pop, and then lemonade. I went to the bathroom and just went <laughs> everywhere. Like I threw up everywhere, cause like it was just nothing but raw lemonade. <laughs> it was so gross. Ugh. And. I feel like I was going to die because, like, I was like, like, puke was coming out my nose. It was <laughs> oh, awful. dude. I hate when that happens. One time I was, uh, sick in the seventh grade. Like, I had shit myself three times already because, like, I thought it was a fart and I squeezed it out and pfft, there was a fat glob of shit in my before. underwear, dude. Yeah. It was horrible. So, like, and we were getting ready to go over to my grandma's because my mom had to go to work, but I wasn't going to school. And um, this was back in seventh grade before COVID. And so, like, as we were, like, getting ready to leave, I had my fucking throw-up bucket, and I had to throw up real quick, and so, like, I threw up, I threw up a little bit, but it was just water with, like, this, these little green floaties in it, it was, like, looked like mold that had grown on top of the water, and I'm, like, halfway through throwing up, like, my body was still going, like, but nothing was coming out, and it hurt so bad, so I started stomping my leg on the fucking ground, and I looked like an idiot, but it hurt so bad, because nothing was coming up. I know, because, like, you were, like, because, like, what if you cough? Like, yeah. you just throw up and it just hurts so bad. Your whole bad. fucking body just throws up. Yeah. It hurts so bad. It, like, contracts and shit, bro. Oh. My fucking... Like, um... I remember... Because, like, I've, I've had awful headaches ever since I was, like, growing up as a kid. Like, I remember my first, like, really bad headache was, like, two or three. I've had chronic migraines my entire life, and I've done every test in the fucking book. An MRI, CAT scan, methamphetamines, I've done everything <laughs> to try to, like, 
help it, and it, it, it doesn't, I, people still don't know why, like the yeah. doctors and everything, and I remember, I would always just like, if I had a headache, I would just push through it, I didn't care, I wanted to play so bad, <laughs> I was that kid who like, would play no matter what, I could be deathly ill and want to go play like, hide and go seek with myself, <laughs> wow. and I was like, Dying of a headache, and then I walked inside. I was like, "Hey, mom," because I was like, "Hang on, it's back before I, I like I was able to like see my before I, you know what I mean." And and uh, she goes, "What? What is it?" And I was like, "I think I'm sick." She goes, "What's wrong?" I was like, "I have a head just everywhere. It was awful." <laughs> Damn. Like I remember one time it was in the fourth grade. I kept telling my mom over and over that I needed glasses. Because, like, I sat, I sat, like, in the front, and I still couldn't see the motherfucking board. My vision was just getting worse and worse by the day, the days gone by, and my mom was like, no, you don't need glasses, blah, blah, blah. And then, so I eventually, because I needed glasses, I started getting these horrible fucking migraines. It hurt so bad. And, like, that's I've... my, eventually, my mom took me to, uh, the, like, eye doctor, and, uh, we did the test or whatever, and she was in the room for it. And as soon as the tests were over, she looked directly at my mom and was like, yeah, he needs glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, like, jumped up in my fucking chair and, like, danced. Or, like, jumped out of the weird, um, horrible chair and, like, danced. And she was like, he has one of the strongest prescriptions I've seen in a while. And <laughs> I, <laughs> it was hilarious because my mom didn't think I needed glasses for the longest time. And my prescription recently got stronger, but... I remember, uh, I had to get glasses recently because, um, I had, like, a very low prescription, though. But mainly because I had them, I mainly got them for, because where I play games all the time, like, the blue lights could give me headaches or something oh, like that. Oh, yeah, 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 those things, yeah. And so I got, like, the blue light protection, and the, I got the whole nine yards in them. 400, almost $500 glasses. I lost them at school. First day at oh, school. Oh, my God. I, keep I was like, on 24 /7. I I took them off because they're like kind of uncomfortable after a while because on my ears. That ha that happened to me the first uh like week or two I had glasses but eventually your head just grows indents to get used to them. Like eventually like you don't even feel that they're there anymore. But most of the time like you just completely forget about them in your peripheral vision. It, it was off because I was I had glasses like growing up for about a year or two. Cause my grand, like my other grandma's, like really, like, like if she thinks something is wrong, it's wrong. Mm -hmm. She doesn't care. Like I could, be like, man, I feel kind of sick. She's like, you have AIDS. <laughs> like, no, calm down. Jesus Christ, it's like it was so did, annoying. Uh, did you ever get a new pair of glasses or? No, I lost them like beginning of like Monday. Oh, uh, this week. Yeah. Damn, bro. You gonna get new ones or not waste another five hundred dollars? Probably not gonna waste another five hundred dollars. <laughs> Cause remember last, like the very first time I got glasses, I had to get these like Bill Cosby glasses. Because yeah, those are the ones my I grandma's, have to get. my my insurance didn't pay for the glasses I want. Yeah, that's what I have to get. Like before, like my insurance allowed us like pay for a little bit of them. Like they would pay for a little bit of them, and like we could pay off like the rest with money. Uh, but now they don't let you do that, so now I have to get the shitty $9 pair of glasses. I mean, these ones aren't that bad, but... I mean, hey. They're just like... Because remember, she used to make me get like, the old person glasses. Like, yeah. oh, these are classy. Like, I don't care what they are. Okay? <laughs> I, I, I simply I remember, don't care. They made me look like a gay old man. I hate them now, like I hate the look of them now. But when I first got glasses, I want one of those. I wanted those motherfucking sport goggle ones. <laughs> oh God, you're like so cringe. I know, but I also for some reason wanted my ears pierced, but I never got them. Thank God. I've always wanted to get my ear pierced so I can get the um. The what you call it? The Hatana earrings from Demon Slayer. Oh. I think that'd be kind of cool. I wanted uh, gauges in my ear, like the big ass fucking spacer holes. Uh, I mean, not that big, no. but like, not that big, but like, like the spacer holes, but you're I'm not okay. I got yeah, I, you would, I would not let that down in a billion years. I know, because my uncle. Do you ever, like, did you ever play COD with, like, yeah. your, like, your, um, like, little brother or anything? 
and like you'd kill him like a couple times because he was dog shooting. He'd be like, "You're screen cheating! You're screen cheating!" Yeah. I hated that so much. It's like, no, you're just bad. And every time and he remember, killed me, I just beat him to death. I, I'm very pretty sure you still do that. <laughs> yeah. You beat I him to a pulp. Like, really bad. I'm looking funny. I don't beat funny. him that much, but I do beat him every now and then. It's just brotherly love. No, yeah. it's not. It's straight up abuse. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm the last one alive. No, I'm one of two. Don't kill me. I saw you jump off. Like oh, a damn. fucking idiot. I know exactly where you're at. Yeah, don't kill me. Don't like kill me. two spots in the entire fucking map on you could be. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. How do you get I to that one that that one guy was cheating on? I think you have to go to the last one alive. Okay. They like teleport over there. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I look, you have to, like, shit really bad. Don't hit me, black locust. <laughs> How much it goes? Hit you. It's, it you look, your, your skin looks like the locust off of, uh, like, the weird black-looking locust off of, uh, they're, like, black or gray off of, uh, Gears of War. Like, those things, they would call, they called them locusts. Oh damn, how do we win? Cause you a bitch. <clears throat> Dude, I think we're gonna have to end the stream after this game, except this shit really bad. Just there's, oh, shit. there's uh, currently, oh, uh, there was three people watching, now there's only one. I think it's you. I'm not watching. Oh, okay. I don't know who's watching. Whoever's watching, thank you. You're a sweet man. Uh, Say your great. name, X, X, penis, and let me know your date of birth and your credit card because I'm trying to max out some person's credit card for Splicket coins on the internet. I'm about to die from camel toe. Okay. I remember one time no, I had a came for come. I remember one time I had a really good friend in a. I was in the sixth or seventh grade at the time, and he was in uh. 8th grade, but, um, his mom's account, like, his mom's credit card got, or debit card or whatever got stolen or hacked or whatever, and they were buying a shit ton of Google Play shit, like, games and stuff like that, like, a shit ton of that, like, $500 in, like, less than 24 hours, and, uh, so guess who got accused for it? My, my, mo my friend, and yeah. when he explained that it wasn't him, they are like, oh shit, my card got hacked after the motherfucker had already spent like an extra two hundred dollars while he was trying to explain that it wasn't him. So. Remember, my grandma had like an old like debit card laying around with like five hundred bucks on it, and she gave it to me. Yeah. Because I was doing like really good in school, and this is whenever I played Fortnite. Oh. Like. Oh a my lot. god. Oh my god. So. I remember like that a new skin. Gone in a day. Yeah, it was, I 